Hello. Today we're going to be fitting a suspension seat post. Um, I did buy a new seat but it was actually no different than the one that's on it so I sent that back and I thought my next option is going to be a suspension seat post. This one is by Zoom and it's a 31.6 millimeter post. If I measure this one with the calipers, this is the one that was in the bike. Don't know if you can see that. That is 34 millimeter, so it's quite a step up. But even that, because the original one comes with this plastic insert to make it even bigger because the, um, the tube on the bike it, well it's massive I don't know why they make it so big um, I'll get a measurement of that in a little while I bought this adapter which is 31.6 which that tube is up to a 33.9 I didn't know, really know the diameter of the uh, the tube on the bike at the time. I thought that would be enough, but it just drops down the hole basically. <laughs> the only way around it is to put this adapter inside this adapter, which the tube then fits into, and then the whole lot into the bike, and the bike will clamp up on that not ideal but it is a way around it unless there's a an adapter that goes from 31.6 up to well I don't know 35 36 millimeter it's going to be a hell of a thickness okay then let's measure the down tube on the bike And I think we can see there that it's 36 millimeter. It's going to need a hell of a booming shim, that is. Right then, the first job is going to be removing the old seat from the old seat post. And I believe that's a 13 mil nut. So let's undo that first and get the seat off. There's a nut either side. Yeah, that slides off now. Can we put that out of the way? Now we're going to need to take this off too because this one just slides onto these rails don't need that so that's got to come completely off we carry on taking these nuts off it needs to be squeezed in so these can clip off the rail or I can prise it with this screwdriver that's got it that's got it so that's that one off Right, we then need to undo these Harlem bolts on here. So we've had to take this completely off. It should just screw back on there. this is on a ratchet so it can be tilted there's a ratchet system there there and then you can position it on the rail slightly forward or back But 
I think that's about right actually. It's full extent that way. So let's tighten it up at that anyway. Um, yeah. It's on anyway. Like I say, whether it's the right angle, it's another thing. Till it's on the bike, I won't be able to tell. I might even have to turn that round completely the other way. I don't know yet. But we'll see. But, yeah. Oh, and another thing on these, there's, there is an adjuster in the bottom. Which you can adjust the tension on the spring. So how much bounce you get in here really. So if it's bottoming out, you screw it in further to put more tension on the spring. With my weight, I'm going to have to have it screwed in all the way. <laughs> anyway, time to put this back on the bike and see if using these two adapters, it can grip it enough. Should do, I think, should do. So, I did have it on the wrong way. The bracket has to face to the back. There wasn't enough movement. There wasn't enough movement and adjustment the other way around. I checked up on the website and yeah, it does face to the back, so. Try again. After testing that, all I can say is, wow, what a difference that makes. That is great. Really impressed with that. Uh, I highly recommend it. So much softer. So much softer. And that was quite a bumpy road uh, track. I've just come down and, oh, well, it's comfortable. Yeah. I certainly recommend getting one of those. That's the Zoom suspension seat post. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Until next time, thanks for watching.